<laughs> Hello, Magicals. Welcome to Sunday. And mine's been a cracker. I'm sorry this is going out so late, but you're not going to believe this. I recorded the entire chakra video before I did the life purpose video, which was about over two hours ago. The, the life purpose video itself was like an hour and 10 minutes. And I deleted it by mistake. I deleted it. And then, of course, because I'm so meticulous about what I do, I emptied my recycle bin. So it's gone. So we start again this morning. Welcome to your chakra reading. I'm happy, happy, happy. <laughs> okay, guys. So sacral chakra this morning. Svadhisthana, okay, um, meaning sweetness. It's um, the chakra of emotion and manifestation and creativity. Um, when I say it's emotion, it's the seat of our emotions. We carry social conditioning in this. Okay, so um, today we are looking um, at, well, you see, I know what's coming now. It's very, very, very irritating, I'm just saying. Um, probably just as well, because I forgot to add the card and the mantra again today. So it's probably the universe's way of saying, you said you were going to do it and you didn't do it. So now I'll make you all do the whole video again. Bless Mercury. Um, okay, so we're looking at our second chakra space. This is, um, the shadow side of this is guilt, okay? So guilt drains our sacral chakra, just so that we are aware. Right, so our first card out, um, what we need to look at is nine of wands, okay? Now, nine of wands, actually I have to tell you, being this close up makes the cards look a whole lot better, doesn't it? That was quite accidental, anything for a reason. Okay, Nine of Wands, ninth ending of cycles, okay, but here, see over this here, her orb is a light, okay, <clears throat> sorry, the ones or, um, <clears throat> gosh, sorry, ones are fire sign cards, okay, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, uh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, oh, God, I've been channeling for too long this morning, um, and this is about igniting your passion, okay, it's about f letting go of what no longer serves you, but taking that spark and moving forward with your passion, all right? It's really about what we're focusing on in terms of manifestation. Um, understanding that your um, Svadhisthana, the reason why um, the, the, the nines come up with your Svadhisthana, with your sacral chakra, is because it's this is about how the thing, how our, what our outcome is. That's basically what it is. So, for example, whether there will be um, a defeat or a victory with what we've let go of, because, you know, you go through the whole suit. Each card builds upon itself, all right? And this is saying to you that spark your inspiration, spark your creativity, spark your fire, what drives you, what motivates you for a positive outcome. Your Ten of Wands is obviously then letting it all down and moving on from that, okay? So, um, really beautiful card. She's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous, okay? Gosh, it's so much easier to see the cards like this. So, then then of course we ask for advice on how we do this right look what's there okay Desiree she who yearns right yearning longing and pining for okay so what they're saying is when you're planning your manifestations what are you really yearning for look at what you're really longing for that's going to be key to what you need to focus your manifestations on at this point now, this is not an ideal space to be in, but it does tell you what you really are wanting or needing in your space, okay? When we look at what we feel like we are lacking in our lives, that is showing us where we need to step up with our manifestation. So whether it be you are lonely and you're wanting a relationship, whether you are um, feeling like there's a lack of motivation in your um, in your business, you need something to inspire you, um, whether it be the fact that you don't feel like you've got enough money coming in, whatever it is for you, okay, you need to focus on this here. You need to look at what you're longing for. Understanding that lack, do not stay in that space of lack, please. This is not a good space to stay in, but use it to show you what you need to work on with your manifestations. So what I say to my clients all the time is that the universe is a big radio and you wanting to tune into Abundance FM, let's just say, but you're sitting at Lack FM. They're two different frequencies, okay? When you start opening up and you start just going with it, right, then what's going to happen is you're going to start aligning with the things that you are wanting, and you're also going to start aligning with the universe surprises, so the universe sends us little surprises all along the way, and they're kind of like little rewards for um, being in a good space, okay, so, um, well, and then here's the next card, okay, so I've just had so many cards coming through my my, my space today, and um, this is the, um, 
the message is the, the message himself the the um you know this was like what you need to do this is the, the you know how you need to do it and then this is now the message himself be happy <laughs> sorry i didn't mean to say it like that that just oh god I, I didn't mean it like be happy but the b is a symbol of luck Okay, when you have bees around you, it's that hard work pays off. Um, it's a symbol of luck. You know, they are crucial to our existence, let's be honest, because they fertilize all the, they pollinate all of the, the flowers and all of that. But this card here is calling the summer card, is calling, it's saying here, bask in joy and light. Okay. <laughs> Be happy. I can't, I mean, like, I can't believe I actually just said that. I mean, really, truly. Really. But this is about raising your vibration. Okay, so although lack shows us, it's useful in showing us where we need to manifest, it's not a good space to stay in, all right? Really, really cannot be staying in that space. You need to actually take a step back and go, okay, but I have got this, this, and this, and this. When you focus on what you have got, things start changing completely for you, completely, completely. Being focused on what you don't have is a very dangerous space to be because it's not a good, um, it, it lowers your frequency and then you're not in alignment with anything. And what I was trying to say to you was, you know, very often when we're in that happy space, things start coming to us like unexpectedly. Um, we'll get little gifts from friends or it'll be a surprise dinner out or they'll just arrive up with some, arrive at your place with some cake and say, oh, you know, I just want to spend time with you. Those beautiful little, they're almost like, I kind of see them as a, good job on being at a good vibration kind of thing, like little rewards from the universe that are unexpected, not to mention you then align with what you actually are wanting and what you are meant to have as well, okay, the bigger picture of everything, all right, so try and raise your vibrations and, and kind of work with that, use your lack to tell you what you need to manifest, then step away from it, because it's not a good space to be in at all, when we focus on the lack, the universe will feel what we're transmitting and it'll start giving us more lack in that and trust me i'm master at this so please if you're going to take anything out from this reading trust me on that it's it's i'm fantastic at that okay next one okay oh, another love card I, I forgot that it just came up okay soulmates okay 41 can you see that? Four and one is five. It's changed obstacles, getting over your obstacles, allowing the change, um, and then moving forward. Okay. Now, penguins mate for life. It's so cute. He takes her a little pebble, and whether she accepts the pebble or not is whether they get together. It's so cute. Okay. So, penguins, the, the two penguins are here. Their hearts around it. Um, oh, gosh. That's so cute. Okay. He here is holding a key, and there's a heart there that's a lock. And he's holding the key to her heart. Oh, God, that's so cute. I didn't even see that the last time. Oh, it's so cute. And there's a face in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's over here. Okay. That is the divine looking down at this connection. Now, here's the thing. Some of you are going to be sitting there going, another love reading. Okay, it's not my intention. I do not choose the cards, okay? I don't even, in fact, one of the reasons why I, I do your, your packs before we start the reading is because I don't want to waste time sitting, shuffling, 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 and waiting for the right jumper, okay? Because this takes... It takes a long time to put these videos out. So with the exporting from the, the, the editing and the exporting and all of that, um, I don't want to then still waste your time as well um, by saying, okay, well, now you've got to wait for five extra minutes on the video just to watch me shuffling. I mean, we've all got better things to do with our time. Okay, so, but um, why I was saying that is because this is not necessarily just a, a romantic reading. Okay, so for those of you who are wanting love, if you can be at this frequency, right, and you can manifest properly without attachment, okay, so put out to the universe what you want and just be in a high vibing space, it'll come to you. That's, that's what they're saying to you. This will be your reward. For those of you in business, this could be partnerships, this could be friendships. For those of you that feel like you lack a tribe, like a soul tribe, this can be the same thing. It does not, a soulmate does not need to just be a romantic partner, okay? It, it's just not like that. Um, we have a lot of soulmates in our spaces that are friends and family and business partners and things like that, okay? It does not mean a romantic partner, but for those of you that are looking for that, this is just like the ultimate outcome for everybody. So whatever it is, apply this energy to your outcome, okay? And in that, it's going to be a really awesome outcome. But you have to be, you have to, and this B thing is really difficult when the cards are B, you have to be at a high vibration. You have to be frequency up all the time, happy, joyful, focusing on what you've got, be thankful for what you've got, 
um, manifesting what you feel you don't have, but you don't focus on the lack. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, I'm not going to forget the mantra this time, just so that the universe is all clear, so I don't delete anything that I'm not supposed to be deleting. Right. I really like the view from here. Um, I create the life I deserve. Okay, I create the life that I deserve. Igniting your passion. I create the life I deserve. That is your mantra for today. All right. And for those of you wanting to connect in with your um, sacral chakra, Svadhisthana, then you are simply going to be chanting VAM. Okay, remember V-A-M, VAM. That is your seed sound for your, your um, sacral chakra. Also, not it's really not um, unusual. In fact, I'm going to just point this out here. This year, she who yearns, the moon is in the background. And although it's a new moon, you can still see that the whole moon is there. Okay, guys, we're coming up to full moon. This is the perfect time for manifestations and doing your woo-woo and your rituals and all of that to get you into what you want and where you need to be. Okay, so um, I know there's been a lot of, like, even yesterday's reading was um, throat chakra stuff about this. So just bear with me. Again, I don't create the messages. They are from spirit. Um, but please pay attention because this is a very, very potent time. Okay. Um, quick heads up. I did do the life purpose reading before, I did, after I had deleted the first chakra reading. I'm just saying. Um, so that will come out a bit later today. Um, we are going into Saturn retrograde today is the day we're in Saturn retrograde. Um, tomorrow, I will obviously do the chakra reading, but I will also be putting out a quick reading on Saturn retrograde. Uh, we are on the on Wednesday, the 26th, full moon. Full moon in Sagittarius, lunar eclipse, supermoon. Energies are going to be running high. This week, we have also got a twin... Oh, maybe I should do that then. Maybe Tuesday, I'll do the twin flame reading because the DFs are going into a shift on the 26th as well with the new moon. Us. And then on the new moon, I'll put out, I mean, on the full moon, not the new moon, on the full moon, I'll put that out. And then, of course, Friday, no, not Friday, Saturday, we go into Mercury retrograde. <laughs> this week is a cosmic shit show. So all I'm saying is I'll put the readings out systematically. They'll come out on the correct days. Um, but obviously make sure that you have subscribed and that you're getting the notifications. Otherwise, you might miss them. Okay, so sending you all fabulous love for your Sunday. Let's hope I can actually get to my Sunday now. That would be delightful. Sending you all big loves. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you tomorrow. Have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday.